So in the spirit of releasing the sequel of this game on August 24th, we're starting the playthrough of I Expect You To Die for the reasons to learn like the storyline and just when the second game arrives to be prepared. That's pretty much my tactic nowadays, the same happened with Lone Echo, so it's basically the best thing you can do before to have an actual good overview of the game. The only thing I know is like a puzzle game, so that's my style, that's my thing and we'll see what's up with this. Show games, okay. Good company. <laughs> That's fun. Clever. I promise you, agent. Can't escape me forever. Oh. We're playing a game. You I know this is like an old school title. I mean, old school. It released basically when Quest 1 was releasing. It is crazy to say when games are like considered old, even though Quest is two years old. I love the art style, it's so unique. It's like a Vera video so far. You're a piece on a board, I bet with my wealth, my armies of dreams. Wait, studio head is Jesse Shaw. So that's from Shell Games come from. That's so interesting. A lake full of acid, a drill from the sky. If you try to fight me, we'll watch your hooks die. Oh no. No no no. <laughs> Well, now I know the premise of this game. Flooding, yeah. I expect We're gonna be to tested die. here. It's an escape room game, then. I'm not the best in it. So cute. Welcome to the Enhanced Operative Division. I am your assigned handler and support agent. We're going to be fast friends, I have no doubt. Your new implants allow you to use telekinetic abilities to manipulate the world around Quest you. One. <laughs> Back when I was a field agent, we had to pick things up the old-fashioned way. Fumbling for it after our third martini. I find testing your spine to be an absolute joy, don't you? Try leaning left. Sometime. Now that we're finished with calisthenics, let's move on to dexterity. Press the button under your index finger. You found the trigger button. Fully extending that same index finger is what we call pointing. Very useful for pressing buttons. Turn your head to the left. Try pressing one of the buttons on the radio there. It seems you have a grip on those controls. I've left you a very cryptic note by the projector. Try picking it up. Good. Now. I don't normally condone the use of fire indoors, but what the hell. Pick up the lighter on your left and use your left hand to press the Y button or right hand to press the B button to light it. Excellent. Let's practice aiming with your new telekinetic powers. Push forward on the thumbstick. It's below your thumb. The circle that appears is where you're aiming. If it turns blue, you can pick up the object by using the grip button. Pick up the object we just sent you through the door. Now that you have the target, pull the thumbstick toward you or down to move. You're a natural. While still holding the target with the grip button, let go of the thumbstick and use your thumb to press the A button. That's the button closer to you. The target will hover in the air. Try hovering the target over the fake plant to your left. 
Well done. I wish we could afford real plants, but our dry martini budget is disproportionate to, well, everything else. Now, try to hover another target over the chair. Excellent work. Let's try one more if you're feeling frisky. Hover the third target over the round table to your right. Well placed. Now, there's only one thing we do to targets around here. Well, two if you count placing them. Pick up the gun next to you and try shooting a target by pressing the B. Great shot. Only one target left. You've passed the test. Now, opening drawers and compartments will be instrumental in navigating the various desks you may encounter on your dangerous mission. Excellent. I'll unlock the training slide reel from the projector after you retrieve your new mission from the door. Well done. Feel free to explore your new office. When you're ready, put in Operation Friendly Skies to begin that mission. Perfect tutorial, perfect mechanics, perfect explanation. I couldn't reach my drawer, I can just use the telekinesis and just close it. It's very good. We're calling this mission Operation Friendly Skies. I hope you like cars and airplanes, and cars in airplanes. Dr. Zor, corporate billionaire by day, underhanded villain by night, has a cargo plane scheduled to depart for Zanzibar this very evening. We need you to infiltrate the plane before it takes off, gain access to the vehicle held within, and drive it right off the airplane. Our intel assures us Zor's car is equipped to handle a fall from any height, so we're almost positive you won't die. First of all, I wanna know if there are subtitles. Any button doesn't appear to have a menu, but I would appreciate subtitles. Brum brum. You may be wondering why this car can never reach Zanzibar. It has some of the most high-tech weaponry in Dr. Zor's considerable arsenal. Naturally, we'd like to poke at it a bit. Drive it off the plane, and you may just earn that vacation you're always going on about. I hope we don't have a time limit. <laughs> I don't know how to drive a car. I have to try basically every button and what it does. Faulty cannon, reset system, a key. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Intruder detected. Present eye for retina scan. Move head closer to scanner. Scan failed. Targeting. Oh, what the hell? Laser avoided. Deploying secondary countermeasures. Ha <laughs> ha, the old ticking bomb. I'm partial to plastic explosives myself, but you must respect the classics. I believe diffusing bombs is covered in basic training. You'll need to cut those wires, Agent. What the? Uh-huh, a knife, okay. So it's basically like try and error. If I'll die, I will come back and then try other solutions. That's the gameplay. The old ticking bomb. I'm partial to plastic. No ticking is good ticking, as they say. Now, can we please focus on getting the car out of the plane? We can light a cigar. <laughs> you know, smoking may cause a slow and painful death. That's true. Weapons offline. Weapons offline. Oh, we have a gun. I was wondering how to break those windows. <laughs> Pay some gas? <coughs> Unscrew it or something. Oh, I don't need to break it. <coughs> I don't know why destroying the window would be a better solution, but okay. Master reset. System resetting. Weapons online. I think it was here. This one. Deploying scorpions. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> yeah, I didn't like the sound effect. <laughs> oh my god. What do I. Oh my god, no. Next. Oh ah, shit, massive. <laughs> oh my god. Do I just insert the dynamite? Okay. Unconventional, but then again, convention never was your strong suit. You'd better drive the car off the plane before something else explodes. 
How do I drive the car? Oh, the pedal. <laughs> That's why I don't have a license. Parachutes deployed. Three minutes, okay. I see you brought back some explosive souvenirs. Nothing wrong with that, I suppose. Keep it up. We finished dissecting Zor's car, and only two technicians died in the process. <laughs> a new record. A few of Zor's car phone messages were from the head of a pharmaceutical company that produces Lady Shampoo. I hope they have plenty on hand, because things are about to get hairy. <laughs> and dirty. Thus the, the, the need for the shampoo. Okay. Anyway, your next mission is waiting for you at the door when you're ready. Fun.